To do your pie pan convection activity, you're going to need the following tools. You'll need some type of heat source, like a, a stove, or in this case, a hot plate that's adjustable. And you'll need something to contain your liquid, like a frying pan or saucepan, baking pan, or an aluminum pie pan. The materials you're going to need in order to do this are an assortment of water-based food colors, a source of water, like from the sink, and if you got them, some coins. Five or six of the same denomination would work great. And of course, you're going to need some liquid soap. You can use shampoo, hand soap, or dishwashing liquid. What's important about your soap is that it has a pearlescent quality to it. This is how I test to make sure this is going to work. I put a little in my hand, I rub it around, and get this nice reflective quality in it. Some brands will work better than others. It's up to you to figure out what brand will work best for your experiment. And this is how you put it all together. On with the experiment. So, take your pie pan, and you're going to add a couple tablespoons of your liquid soap. You might need to add more later. I'm going to add about a centimeter or two of water to my pie pan, and then I'm going to stir it around with my finger. Mix it up so it's nice and homogenous. You can tell when your liquid is nice and shiny and you start seeing little flow lines, and when it's nice and well mixed, add some color to it to give it a little more contrast. I'm going to add a couple drops of red this time around, and I'll also add a little bit of yellow. You can stir with your finger too. It's just soapy water. Keep stirring it until your solution is nice and homogenous. Oh yeah, you might want to keep some paper towels handy. When it calms down, you're ready to turn the heat source on. Turn up to a medium or high temperature at first, and watch what happens.